messing with success is a dangerous, dangerous thing, especially when it comes to the Lexus RX. After all, it basically defined what success means in the luxury crossover SUV field. You see, the RX created this whole segment back in 1999, and it has dominated sales ever since. It's also Lexus's best-selling model. A lot of Lexus dealers make their mortgage payments based on RX sales. So what has made the RX so successful? Well, for years it has spoiled owners with a luxurious and comfortable experience while also being very practical and reliable to boot. But here's the problem. All of that, well, it's kind of boring and the competition's coming up fast. So Lexus decided to spice things up with the RX's 2016 redesign. Exterior styling is less rounded and pleasantly plump, instead becoming more pointed and sharp. The brand's trademark spindle grille has grown to near sewer grade proportions. Too bad the new styling brought a big blind spot in the rear corners and a shrunken back window. Under the hood is an updated version of Toyota's familiar 3.5 liter V6. This is an impressively efficient engine and the new 8-speed automatic should help fuel economy even more. Of course, if it's efficiency you really crave, there's the RX 450H Hybrid. Now a big question is how does this new RX drive? Is it as luxurious as before? Well, the RX has always been very quiet inside and that tradition continues. Previous RXs emphasized a soft, cushy ride over agility and sportiness, but other Lexuses like the smaller NX have moved away from this comfort-oriented tuning. Our first impression is that the new RX, it certainly doesn't do anything offensive, but it's not setting any benchmarks either. Now it does sound pretty wishy-washy, but it's hard to make definitive conclusions based on this particular car. That's because this particular RX is an F-Sport trim, with 20-inch alloys and a sports mode with an active stabilizer system that works to keep the car level in turns. We don't know how the regular car is going to drive. F-Sport models also get unique instruments and these aggressively bolstered sports seats. We do know that the interior remains roomy and very practical. There's more rear seat space than before. That's impressive because we didn't really complain much about the old car. But we will complain about the controls. Sure, the giant display screen is easy to read, showing both map and music information at the same time. And you get lots of normal knobs and buttons here. That said, using the mouse-like controller to pick your way through on-screen selections is awkward. We prefer a touchscreen or a knob instead. Safety is a big deal, especially for a luxury car like this. The Lexus Safety System Plus includes forward collision warning with automatic braking to prevent some crashes. There's also lane departure warning and lane keep assist. It's great that the safety equipment is optional for not much money, but given that, it should probably just be standard on a luxury car like this. Note also that Lexus still doesn't make a three-row crossover SUV. There's only two rows in the RX. If you need that third row in this price range, you're probably going to be shopping the similar-sized Acura MDX. And as much as the RX dominates this field right now, fresh competition like the very nice new Lincoln MKX and the Volvo XC90, they could eat into Lexus's share of the pie. For more on SUVs, check out consumerreports.org.